Hello, welcome to day five of playing chess every day until I reach 1800. In the future, I might actually make it um, 2000, just because that's more interesting. We're playing a 1347. Um, I'm not going to lie, yesterday was a bit of an L for me, and now I finally get to, get to play the Scotch, which is fun. Um, the only bad news is I haven't reviewed this in a while. So I'm actually, I actually don't remember how to play it. I, I, I know that I'm playing the line correctly so far, but I actually totally forgot it past here. This is unfortunate because I'm actually pretty well versed in this line, usually. <laughs> um, but I totally forgot it now, so we're going to have to play with the cards that were dealt. Um, yes, we will. Okay, let's see. Um, I kind of want to pin his knight, maybe capture with check, and then force something. I feel like there's no real harm in pinning the knight there. And obviously he does that. That's probably the right move. Um, let's see. Boom, boom. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I want to take this bishop and make him damage his pawn structure. How can I do that? I can do that by taking um, this knight. He cannot take my bishop first because I have, I think, a lot of discovered checks that are pretty dangerous for him. Um, so let's see. Takes, takes. Um, maybe there aren't any discovered checks that are bad, actually. Because I can't threaten the queen. Can't threaten any of the rooks. Maybe it's better just to castle. In fact, I think that might actually just straight up be better. Because there's nothing dangerous for me to threaten. If he castles right now, then I can threaten him. Oh, wait, no, because he's going to castle, so there won't be anything to threaten with a discovery. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, let's just make a developing move. Um, wait a minute. If I block my queen in, I think I lose a piece. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I cannot block my queen in. That would be bad. I almost did that. Um, maybe I force his bishop to, to do something. Let's see. I kind of like taking right now because if he takes back with the knight, then I take his bishop, damages his pawn structure. If he takes my bishop first, then um, then I take his knight with check, and I open up my lines. But I'm now realizing that might not actually be be what I want. So I know that in this position or in positions like this. F3 isn't that bad, I think. So I just need to find an improving move and make it because I'm losing a lot of time. And this is so sad because I actually do know the scotch as a line. You know what? I'm just going to play rook e1 because now my bishop doesn't have to be taken, um, be re recaptured by the pawn if my knight moves, which was the real um, worry. Um, besides that, from now on, I promise, no matter what, if I record a game, I will upload it. I might play games off camera, in fact, I probably will, but if I record it, it is going on my channel. Um, so I'm sorry about not including, um, two of the games yesterday. I, I thought that they, uh, I thought, I thought I shouldn't show, like, terrible blunders that lead, that led to what I would consider boring games, but, um, after some comment reading, I realized that, no, I can just post it because that's all part of the process. And he does capture. Um, I think that I am going to take with the bishop because he's going to recapture his bishop. Otherwise, he has nowhere good to go. And then in that case, I get a strong pawn center. So let's do that. Wait. Yeah. Wait, or, or if I recapture with my pawn, where does his... Oh, then he gets an annoying place. So yeah, I'm going to recapture with my bishop. And oh yeah, and obviously he has to recapture, otherwise he takes queen. I didn't see that. We're down two minutes of, on the on the clock, so I'm just going to... Oops, definitely not that. I'm going to just pre-move the recapture. And I might want to consider taking with the queen, but not too much, because I that just visually doesn't look like a great move. I know that's not a great reason to not make a move in chess, but... 
I just don't think it is because I also want to free up my knight. Um, and c3 is the place that I think it should go. Um, where do I want to move my bishop? I think I want to just move it back. Um, if he chases me, then I can just recapture. And then his knight is in a bit of an issue. Um, no, I actually like going here. Maybe we bait him into moving forward because I actually want this file to open up anyway. On the other hand, maybe we just drop back. It's a tough situation. It's a tough choice. Let's see. Boom, boom. Where do I go? I can just, I, I can capture, 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 but then captures. So I don't really like that. Boom, boom. I can threaten the queen after that, but I don't really like how locked my position is and how weak my d-pawn is. So on second thought, on second thought, I might, no, no, no. I Actually, I, I'm going to go c4, but if he pushes, I'm not going to capture anything. I'm just going to drop back to b3. I hope that he, I hope that he doesn't push because I feel like that's a good move. Which I'm now realizing is probably something I should have stopped him from doing if I would consider it to be a good move. He pushes the other pawn, and I don't think that was a good move. I don't know quite why yet, but I don't think it was. What, how do I punish him? Um, I, I can't exactly just take because then he takes my pawn. Well, this is actually annoying to defend. Maybe, oh, maybe I underestimated this. Because if I move my queen anywhere, he just takes with his... But if he takes with his queen, this pawn is going to fall, like, no matter what. No, I think that I actually push here first. I make his queen move away, and then I can move around with my other pawns. Um, which one do I take? I think that the answer is pretty clear. I think I have to take the one that his queen is threatening. Or that would threaten his queen. What do I take with? I could take with the rook. And then I'm threatening this pawn. That's pretty easy to defend though. I think that I have to just take with the pawn. Yeah. And then I'm going to bring out my knight. I, I'm not afraid of losing this pawn. Because I can always push f4. Yeah. And. You know I got to keep an eye out for tactics. I feel like I could be missing some. Let's keep in mind that this knight is undefended. And with that, I think I found the move. I could go queen here. That basically forces a queen trade. But wait, do I want that? Hmm. On second thought, I think I'm just going to bring up my knight. But on third thought... What if I push this pawn, make him lock it in, and then I push my queen? That's an interesting idea. Push my pawn. If he takes, I move here, threatening both his knight and his pawn, and I unlock his position. This might be the blunder of the game, but you never learn from ever. Oh, wait, no, he can take with his bishop. Never mind. And I do not want him to activate his bishop for free. I take it back. I didn't see that. I should have seen that because that's a pretty obvious move. And we are in a dire clock scenario right now. Um, I think I'm just going to force him to move his bishop with f3 because I liked the idea of locking down d anyway. Okay, well, obviously, we're not going to fall for the checkmate. Um, Instead, how do we defend this? That's the question. I think we just bring up our rook. Or the queen. One of the two. Um, hmm. Which way to go? Personally, I like bringing up the rook because I'm going to want to double stack the rook on this file anyway later on. And then I should probably move my king out of the way to 
force him to move his bishop again. Um, is he threatening anywhere to go? Yes, he's threatening there. So... I think I'm going to move my... Um, yeah, no, he's threatening actually a good square for his knight. I think I'm just going to move my king just because now I can take his bishop if he doesn't move it. He's probably still going to go knight d4, and I'm going to lose on time, so this is actually an issue. Um, let's just move over here. That seems like the obvious move. And I can trade bishop um, my knight's next move because he's going to have to move his, move his bishop. And then he's going to have an isolated pawn. Okay, I'm going to stop commentating so much because I have to play a lot faster. Um... Let's see what to do. I think I'm. I think I'm just going to um, capture. Yeah, I'm just going to capture, and then I need to defend that pawn. So I'm going to move my queen, and obviously that is in the fork because I have my rook. Okay, I have one minute. I'm going to lose this on time, <laughs> um, but that's okay. I've lost in worse ways than on time. Uh, I think I'm just going to push this pawn. Nothing left to lose. Don't like how open my king is now, but we're going to have to deal with it. And yeah, next move I'm definitely going to try to trade the rooks. I mean the, the knights. This game is instructive just because of how long I'm taking. I feel like I take longer when I'm filming for obvious reasons I have to commentate. But... Not much you can do about that. Okay, well, now I'm going to have to um, play a very weakening move. No, I'm not. I'm going to move my queen instead because I don't want to play this because that opens up the... Um, even, I know that my, my knight's there right now, but my knight's going to move. And in that case, I do not want to give him the check on the... on the um, What's it called? Okay, now I'm just going to double up my rooks. Nothing wrong with that. We've, whoa, oh, I blundered. That's okay. Um, actually, I like this move first because, nope, that would blunder the other pawn. Oh, dang it, I'm really getting crushed. On the clock, that is. Okay, I think I have to take, um, okay, yeah, this is bad. This is just bad. And I'm going to lose on time, so I just have to play. Next move is going to be here. But he still just defends it. Yeah. And I do not see my path forward at all. Maybe I somehow get my knight in, into the action. But, oh, okay. Well, that doesn't work, because I can just trade. Okay, well that's kind of annoying, but I can just avoid it. And then I'm gonna bring my king in. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, this game's over. <laughs> um, yeah, this game's just over. I'm gonna try to bring my knight in, do something, but in all reality, this is lost. Um, I'm folding to the time pressure more than anything. Obviously, I need to make sure that I. Oh, and I just blundered the fork. Okay. Yeah, it might. I think it's resigning time, but you, you never know. In fact, I know it's resigning time. Um, never trade when you're down pieces, obviously. He's going to go to the rank, though, and I'm just going to lose. And now I have no strategy. Maybe he blunders rook. Um, there was a chance. Oh, I lost. Dang it! Okay, well, he does not even give me the hope of getting a back rank mate, which is unfortunate. He's gonna take this pawn too. Yeah, this game is very over. Yeah, checkmate. Okay, well, that was bad. That was very bad. 
Um, and I promised I'd post the, the losses, and that was about the definition of a loss. Apparently my opponent blundered. Like it, that is not a free bishop though, because wait, the computer is telling me that this that this knight move is a blunder because I can take the bishop. But that isn't true because then I lose Oh, I, I I guess I get two pieces for the rook. So that's good for me. Yeah, I missed that. Okay, well you learn for now, let's just play one more. No real reason, just don't want to end on that terrible loss. Okay, let's play e4. It's aborted, you need 10 minutes. And we're, okay. This is the first time on this channel that I have to play against d4. I play the King's Indian, but like many of my openings, I don't actually know how to play the King's Indian. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing some weird version of this. Um... He's doing some very weird version of this. I like to bring my knight to d7 mostly because I like to um, really push for the break. No, Nobody really takes there. They, they always go forward because they want to keep the tension because, well, I mean, that's just what they do. He's thinking for a while. That's a good sign. That means that he doesn't really know what he's doing, but neither do I. He takes. That's interesting. Okay, obviously I take with the knight. If he recaptures, recaptures, it's going to be a very boring game. Because then the queens will be traded. But it'll probably still be fun. Because when isn't chess fun? Am I right? No. <laughs> I'm not right. Um, okay, now comes the hard part of the game. Figuring out what to do next. I think that what to do next is bring out my bishop. But it usually is misplaced on... Okay, well, obviously I'm not going to blunder and take this knight first. You obviously have to take the bishop first. Otherwise you lose a piece. I wonder what he's going to recapture with. My guess is the queen, but I could see him taking with the knight. And then hoping to... Nope, yeah, with the knight. Obviously we have to recapture. And he's probably going to bring the, bring the rook out. We're going to get the chance to move our queen to e7. Although he has other moves, he could try to pin our knight. In which case, I'd probably... Yeah, no, but he plays the expected move, which I actually like. Um, because now we, he gave us a reason, like a tempo, to move the queen. Which we wouldn't have otherwise had. And he plays that. You know, if he takes my knight, I'm actually happy. So I am going to just defend my... Wait a minute. I, w I was going to defend my pawn, but then I realized he can just move his bishop out and get free tempo. If I take here, he takes there. I can break it pretty easily, but I don't like the look of that. Um, obviously, we have to defend this pawn as well. So on second thought, you know, I don't think I have move other than... I mean, I really don't want to take it. So I think that I'm going to have to move my queen. I'm going to have to just move it twice after he moves the bishop. I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. If he doesn't play that, I'm going to immediately kick out the knight. And I'm going to try to play this game a lot faster than, than, than the last one, because it's much easier to blunder when you have no time for obvious reasons. I'm really expecting bishop. Um, e3, I think that's definitely the best move. If he does play that, I guess I just drop back. Um, I really don't want to, though. I haven't had any, had any cool tactics in the recent games, which I'm kind of sad about. Um, I don't know what move, other moves he's considering. Um, I really don't. Obviously, I don't want to move to d6. Yeah, that's what we expected. I don't want to move to d6 because, well, obviously, that's going to give him a discovered attack. But does he have any good discovery squares? You know, I really don't think he does. Let's see. 
Where, where can he move? He can move there. He can move there. No, no danger. He can move there. I recapture. Oh, that's the issue. <laughs> yeah, so if I move queen d6, he moves b6, captures the knight, because obviously I can't recapture with the queen because of the bishop. So as much as I hate to do it, I think I'm going to have to play queen c6 just to preserve the pawn. And then I probably will end up having to just capture with the knight. So I wasted a few moves there. There was definitely a better continuation that I did not see. But I guess in game review we'll find out what that was. He captures with check. What do I want to recapture with? I'm thinking that I want it to be the bishop because I don't see what the queen is going to do from that square. We can always just drop it back if we, if we want to. Next move is going to be probably something obvious like rook d8. I'm nowhere near good. Oh wait, sorry, not that rook though. This rook because we don't want to obviously give up the pawn. Yeah, this is going to be a very stale game, it appears. But he's right now he's giving us a pawn if he doesn't defend it, which he probably will. I'm expecting a move like f3, in which case I'll just move forward with my original plan. And if he does capture... Actually, no, I think I'm going to have to defend this pawn first somehow. I'm not sure because I want to be able to recapture with the, the rook, and right now it's going to lose a pawn. Wait a minute, what am I talking about? It doesn't lose a pawn, because if he takes this with the bishop, then I just trap his bishop and I win it. So, never mind. Maybe, I, I, I mean, maybe I'm laying my own trap. Wait a minute, let's think about that, though. So let's say that this rook... That, 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 oh, okay. Well, I didn't really expect that. Um, you know, I think I'm just going to take the opportunity to move my bishop back. I could I could definitely just move the rook, though, and call his plan stupid. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want to move the rook, or do I want to move the bishop back, recapture with the king? You know, I like, I think his bishop is a lot stronger than mine, so if he's going to trade bishops, I'm fine with that. Mine is totally stuck. So if he trades, I'm fine with that. I'm just going to pre-move, and he captures. I think that was a mistake on his part, because his bishop had so much scope, and mine was staring directly into a brick wall. And now he moves the rook there. Do I like that move? I don't know, because... I think it's meaningless since I'm going to trade the rooks anyway. Do I have a better move? I don't think so. No, I really just want to trade. I doubt that he's going to take because he prob probably wants his pawns to be better connected. I've been more surprised though. Maybe he doesn't. Yeah, this is just going to be a very boring game, I think. Unless I do that and I blunder a pawn. Which I somehow did. I managed to do. Um, wow, that's embarrassing. Um, now I think that I... Just try to attack some of his pawns. Maybe I kick his rook out at some point. Dang, I can't believe I just did that. He has an easy defense, yeah. Let's see, if I kick his rook, where does it go? It's there. In which case... Oh wait, no, that's not true. If, if I kick his rook at right now, he, he checks me, which is kind of annoying. Um, I have no secret sauce, so to speak. Wait a minute. I have an idea. 
Some might call me crazy, but watch this. It probably won't work. But right now, I'm actually threatening something very major. I'm threatening to capture his pawn because, say his queen recaptures, knight recap, I mean, um, rook recaptures, that's just a back rank mate. So right now, he has to be very careful. And it is obviously no longer a back rank mate. <laughs> um, yeah. Dang. I thought I was so smart. Didn't I? Um, let's see. I could threaten to discovery attack him. That's an option. I could also go... No, no, no. Okay, yeah. This is slipping away from me. Maybe. I don't think he actually saw my threat. I think he was just defending the pawn. But then again, maybe he was just doing both at the same time. In which case, kudos to him. Hmm. You know, even if he has this move, I still like the look of queen b6. Because... And by the way, if he doesn't play this or some other move, that's literally just checkmate with, with the double check. So, but he, I'm sure he's going to see it and probably play c5. In which case, I'm going to move my queen and then I'm pro probably to b4. Then I'm going to try to infiltrate on, on, on the seventh rank, or I guess the second rank, but seventh rank for me. So let's see how he chooses to defend this. Because, yeah, he plays the move I thought he was going to play. It's unfortunate for me. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a second. Let's see. Yeah, no. The, the, none of that works. Okay, that's unfortunate. He's finding all the right moves, it would appear. Yeah, let's just play... B B4. I'm slightly worried about him infiltrating himself now, but I think I'm faster because I have an immediate queen threatening move. So let's see what he does. Yeah, this is actually turning into a more interesting game than I imagined it would be. Oh, oh yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> I thought I saw something. But I did not. Yeah, this could turn dangerous for him because if he allows the the rook here and the and, and the queen to capture, then I mean I don't see how, how he defends the eventual checkmate. But I'm sure he's going to find some way to defend. I could even see him bringing his rook up. Although I doubt that, just because it looks wrong. <laughs> We're also pushing his clock. We're a minute up. Maybe we could make that time advantage count for something. He pushes his pawn. I didn't really expect that, to be honest. Are we cooking right now? Are we cooking? Because I think that this, I think that b3 is a better square for the queen anyway. Let's just check, make sure he doesn't have any, you know, he does not have any way to win the queen. I could also just drop back, but then obviously if he pushes the pawn, I'm kind of screwed. Could also go here. That's another candidate move, but I like keeping my eye on the pawn. So off we go. I almost lost my time advantage. And obviously he cannot escape with this king right now because I would win the queen with a skewer. But he's not going to do that because there's no reason to run anyway. I'm still threatening to infiltrate. I'm also threatening to give him a check and trade. Trade everything, actually. <laughs> but I don't want to do that because his rook has very easy access to my 7th rank. So let's see what he opts to do. He surprised me quite a few times. Okay, he creates some luft. I think that now is the time to strike. 
Yeah. This could get dicey for him very quickly. Very quickly, actually. In fact, I'm liking our, our position now. Depending on where he moves, we might also just be able to throw in a check right now. And then we can threaten to discovery attack him, win the rook, all sorts of devious things. Yeah, there's a lot of tactics here. And I'm not seeing where he where he'd want to move his queen. And now we're we are we are nearly up two minutes on the clock. So that's a, a consideration to take into account too, because last game I was pressed for time, and we all saw how that went. So hopefully this game will go in my favor in the realm of time. Let's see. Let's say he moves his queen. I don't know somewhere random. Somewhere ran actually, there isn't really anywhere random for him to move his queen. It, let's say he moves it here, right? I, I, I don't think that's a good move, but let's say he does. Do we capture or do we check? If we check, he obviously cannot move here because I'd give a check. Um, He can also not... Oh, well, speak of the devil. Um, speak of the devil. Let's see, check. I feel like the only move he has is there. Now check, boom. Recaptures, he moves up. And then I win his rook. Okay, I think I found a really cool continuation. Or check, he moves there. And I win his rook anyway. I, okay, I think I win his rook. I could be wrong, but I think I do. Because he moves there, obviously it's checkmate. He moves there. I go, I give him a check, we trade. Yeah, this is going exactly how I imagined it would. Check, recaptures, captures. He escapes and then I win his rook. Oh yeah, let's go, resignation. Oh, and I, this is embarrassing because apparently it was made in three, not winning his rook. Let's see how that would work out. Um, queen f4, what can he do? The only thing he can do is this, and then, oh, check. No matter where he goes, it's just, oh wait, that wasn't the right move. I give him a check first, and then no matter where he goes, it's checkmate. Okay. So let's go. Um, we have gained three three braiding points today, and I just realized that I never updated the um, text on the screen. So forgive me for that. I'll update it right now. 1282. We started at 1279, I believe. Let's do a quick analysis with a game review. Now, to be totally honest, what I'm doing right now does not in any way count as an analysis. If I were actually going to analyze this, I would take it into a program I have called Chessbase, and I would write my thoughts down next to every move. That would take, probably take me an hour to an hour and a half. Right now, what we're just doing is summarizing. So let's not um, mistake the two options. Started off very normally. And again, I don't know how to play the King's Indian, but I know how to get past the opening with it for the most part. And yeah, taking on um, e e5 surprised me a lot. Um, like honestly, because most people choose to push, and I think that pushing is prob probably the most played move. Um, yeah, and it even says d5 is the best. It's by far the most played. Wait. Never mind. I can, for some reason, not open the openings tab of the analysis. I don't know why. But let's see. He took. Um, pinning wasn't good. I kind of knew that. I knew that that wasn't in the spirit of, of the position, so to speak. Um, apparently, I was meant to trade. I'm not going to pretend to know what, why that is good. Yeah, Game Review was saying this is a great move. It's also the only move that doesn't lose, lose us a piece. So thank you, Game Review, for pointing out the obvious. Um, wait, somewhat interestingly, it was better for him to capture with the knight. Oh no, it was- wait, what? Guys, look at this. It was better for him to capture this pawn, because obviously I have to recapture with the, um... Wait, no, game review wants me to do this. Oops, not that, obviously. 
Wow. That is surprising to me. Um, I, I would never do that in an actual game unless my opponent... Um, if my opponent played knight takes f7, I feel like I'd take it. Probably, probably with the rook. And yeah, game review doesn't fault me for that. In fact, now it's saying that's best. So that's surprising, but opponent did not play that. Game went on. Okay, queen c5 was a mistake. I wonder where it wanted me to go. Okay, it wanted me to take with the knight instead. I feel like that gives him so much counterplay, though, in, in the center of the board. I guess not. Hmm. I'm just looking at, I, I'm kind of looking at the computer lines right now. I mean, obviously, you, you can tell. It, it wants me to start um, a, an attack on, on, on the, the queen side as well, for some reason. But, yeah, so th this was a mistake. And in fact, this is so bad that it's plus two in the eval. My opponent finds the move. Now, this is a moment, a moment for me to reflect, because before I played queen c5, I literally said that bishop e3 was going to be the, the best move to counter that, and I still played queen c5. So after I saw queen c5, bishop e3, I should have just not played the move, and I should have just taken or something. I overestimated the threat of these pawns, because I can eventually, probably c6 is a, is a terrible move, but with some combination, I don't think that that would be much of a danger. But... I moved, he moved, I moved back. Another mistake, now it's plus 4.8 in the eval. Wow, this is bad for me. It wanted me to just move to, to the side. Um, and I actually fully missed that's a way to protect the pawn. Had I seen that, I definitely would have done that because now I can still kick out the knight. Um, yeah, let's see, yeah. And then if he chases me, then... Um, if if he chases me and wants me to move up, but doesn't that give him the free knight? I mean, the free pawn. No, it wants me to win it back like this. Okay, so this game review is definitely out of my league, and he misses. Oh my gosh! I blundered my queen. Oh my gosh! I blundered my queen. I didn't realize that. No way. No way. You guys are probably yelling at the screen uh, at my stupidity. I can't believe that I blundered my queen and I didn't notice it. Wow. Well, thank the heavens that he didn't take it. Um, I am very embarrassed. And I can't believe that I missed that. Even when he's a pawn up now, it says it's e equality. Wow. I cannot believe that. Okay. Computer wants me to just play the immediate rook d2. Um... Yeah, and this is and pushing this pawn is the best move um, on my opponent's side too. I this has happened a few times this game. I said what my opponent's best reply was that totally countered my idea. Then I still played my idea. Um, I'm, I was playing hope chess a little bit. Yeah, that was his big blunder, and I perfectly capitalized on it by infiltrating on the rank. I mean, I mean the row. And this check was the correct move. And then we carry out the attack. Now, here's what I'm confused about. It says that after I played um, queen check, it wanted him to go here. Now, here was my idea. My idea was to capture with the rook. So, uh, yeah, oh. I was about to say sorry about that. I take it back entirely, because <laughs> apparently that's brilliant. Um, no, that was not my idea. My idea was actually <laughs> to check with, with the queen, which it also likes. Um, and then take his rook somehow. That, that was my real idea. Wait, why is sacking the rook a brilliant move? I did not mean to do that. Let's see, if, if the king takes, what do I do? Um, okay, computer wants me to give him a check. Now king g3. What the heck? Oh, and I'm just threatening to checkmate him. In fact, mate's on the board. Okay, well, I can tell you with certainty that I did not see this brilliant move. That's pretty cool. Um, wow. Yeah, if he takes, I check. What happened? Okay, okay, and then if he goes here or something, obviously that's just bad because I can just checkmate him. So he goes up. I go g5, and there's nothing he can do to stop it. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Okay, well, that was today's game. Thank you for, or I guess games. Thank you for watching, and I know this was a longer video. I will see you again tomorrow.